I mean, this was most of my life. On my back fighting for my life. Sheep in this position can find it difficult to get back up without help. Unfortunately, in a lot of cases, that means a slow, painful death for the sheep. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should've seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling, six time failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, my familia, mi raza, Guanajuato, Super <laughs> Tela Suburba, so we're about to take a ride. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Ron Strong. <sighs> all in your name, all in your glory, thank you. Thank you Jesus for what you did on the cross. Gracias Jesus. In the beginning, God made us good. <laughs> but we found the way to be bad. All of us, like sheep, we have strayed away from the path. We have left God's path to follow our own. I know today, big time I did it. 45 years later, We know that a shepherd takes care of his flock. The shepherd feeds, guides, and protects the flock from danger. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. The Bible describes this close relationship between God and us as the shepherd and the sheep. It also says that the sheep recognizes the voice of the shepherd. They follow him. The shepherd protects his flock and would give his life for them. Thank you, Jesus. Sheep cannot live without the shepherd. They are entirely dependent of him, God. I know this today. 
took me a long time, but I know this today. For everything, everything starts with him today in my life. The first reference to a shepherd in the Bible was Abel, the son of Adam. The shepherd's ongoing challenge was teaching the sheep to obey his commandments. Even giving them names, the sheep will respond to their names. Can you guys like see the love, the leadership that God shows us? My last year before I came home, one of my cellmates was uh, a Christian. And he lived, walked it, talked it, everything. Most humblest person I've ever met. And at that time I couldn't understand how can a person so humble like that survive in such a dangerous, envi dangerous environment in prison? And today I realized that it was because he was one of God's sheep. God was looking over him and always protecting him. <sighs> to me, being realizing all that now and my eyes open to this and being able to see it has been the most beautiful part of this walk is actually seeing that God is always working in us and through us. At the end of the day, it's not even about our stories. It's about Him, His story, and what He's done in our lives. Applying scripture to life is something that every Christian should know. Hearing the Bible, reading the Bible, studying the Bible, memorizing the Bible, and meditating on the Bible. It's something that I've, I've learned to do every day, and I absolutely love it. It keeps revealing more and more to me. There is, there's, so many, there's so many things that you learn in life that help you through life, but they don't have the authority that God's word does. There is no substitute for the Bible. So in the life of every Christian, there must be that daily nutrition of the Word of God. It's important. My name's JC. I am Ron Strong. Hey, don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, live for Him. <sighs> Love you guys.